Global change and climatic change is a fact. It is well known and its impact is affecting us even as we speak today. We all know through the reports from many scientists uh, that in great part of this damage has been carried out, has been done by human activity. And it is important to know that it is our responsibility to act now to begin to cure this uh, extraordinary uh, damage that we have created, that we have done to our atmosphere and to our world. The important thing is that it is not too late and it is time to act now. I used to rule the world, seas that rise when I gave the word. Now in the morning I sleep alone, sweep the streets I used to own. constant search for answers has taken the human race far beyond anything you'd ever imagine possible. Throughout this exploration, 
Incredible discoveries have been revealed as time passed and humanity left its footprint throughout the passage of history. But at some point, human progress, ambition and ignorance combined to take our planet towards an imbalance of such magnitude that all life was placed at risk. Maybe the answers we are looking for are not in the stars. Maybe they are inside each of us who has the privilege of coexisting on this planet with millions of other species. All the universe is composed of the same elements. All galaxies share the same molecules. All this wonderful series of infinite stars share the same building blocks. Of all the millions of planets out there, it appears that not all of them have the conditions for something as extraordinary as life to take place. The planet, the planet Earth, is about 4.5 billion years old. It is amazingly beautiful, unique, vibrant and dynamic. But it wasn't always so. What do you mean it was not always like this? This planet has gone through profound transformation since its creation, and these extensive processes were creating the conditions necessary for the appearance of an initial spark. And it was so that life emerged, passing through early, unimaginable, and certainly wonderful stages. How was the universe created? How was life created? What triggered these events? What happened? What kind of elements had to be mixed? How long did it take? What kind of energy was needed? And under what conditions? These are just some of the questions humans have always asked themselves. Seems logical to me. When a species evolves to a higher level of intelligence, it's understandable that they would want to learn more about their world. Wanting to know more about their origins is proof of their continued growth. You're right. And you're wrong. That's... that's impossible. What you're saying makes no sense. To put it another way, you're right, because it's natural that they would want to discover the laws that govern the universe and investigate the origins of life. But then we ought to assume that for them life is important and they worry about understanding the cosmos to ensure their continuity. Exactly. I agree with you, but I still do not understand why you said that Conrad was wrong. Because he speaks of the continued growth of humans instead of progressing, they are going down a path that will lead to destruction. What are you talking about? Destruction? What do you mean by that? Since we are in this area, I am pointing out this third planet, and especially humans. To review a little history and past events, I asked Robbie to make some calculations. The results are not very encouraging for them. What did you discover? 65 million years ago, a species called dinosaurs lived throughout planet Earth. They were masters of the planet. In those days, there were no predecessors of humans. But something happened on the planet, and the dinosaurs became extinct, along with 80% of the living species on Earth. What could happen for something like this to take place? 
It was a natural disaster. A meteorite fell and the impact was so devastating that these were the consequences. The planet took many years to recover from the incident. And because of that, new species of animals and plants appeared and repopulated the planet. Have you by chance discovered that this planet is in the course of another meteorite? Yes. As calculated by Robbie, it seems there will be another devastating impact. Only this time, the meteorite is not from outside. Is it possible? Humans, this time, they are the meteorite and are on their way to the destruction of their own planet. Life on this planet is possible because it has an invisible cloak which they call atmosphere. The atmosphere, among its many other functions, retains part of the energy coming from the star they call the Sun. The planet receives energy from the Sun and sends it back into space, but some of this reflected energy is trapped by certain gases that are present in the atmosphere, like carbon dioxide, methane and others. This is a natural process that is known as the greenhouse effect. Thanks to the energy trapped by these gases, the average temperature on Earth has always been between 14 and 15 degrees. But without the greenhouse effect, the temperature on Earth would be minus 18 degrees. Impossible for life as we know it. From the burning of fuels and other human activity, there was an increase in the amount of greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere, causing it to become more dense and to trap more heat. The effect of this increased heat was felt around the world, affecting the lives of not only humans, but also animals and plants, generating a worldwide problem known as global warming. We must warn them somehow. They already know. They know, but they don't seem to care. It's incredible. Why don't they do something to avoid it? Yes, they know and understand. Although there are many people working hard so that others become aware, it is not sufficient. We talk a little bit about climate change and perhaps you think that this is um, it's not your fault and it really isn't your fault. You were not around when we were messing up the place. But it is your responsibility, unfortunately. So you will have to take action and you will have to lead the, uh, the world into making some changes to arrest the uh, changes going on in the, in the atmosphere. And it will require a lot of uh, firm action on your part. All humans must stop and think for a moment and decide to change. But it seems that they will not do so. They know the consequences and the price they will pay for doing nothing. They know that the poles will melt. They know that sea levels will rise. In one place, there will be floods, droughts in others where crops cannot grow, then hunger and extreme weather will be an everyday occurrence. I do not know, but this human madness is making other species suffer the consequences of their actions, because the whole planet will be affected. Both animals and plants will suffer unfairly. But they are the most intelligent species on the planet. How is it possible they don't do something to avoid it? I do not know, but it is not too late. They have not yet reached the point where it is impossible to reverse the damage, but they have very little time. We need to help them, so they will not suffer the consequences. That's not possible. This planet will suffer changes. It cannot be avoided. Humans and other species have to adapt to what's to come. The planet will heat up even more, and that will cause serious problems all over the Earth. That is inevitable. They can limit the damage and work to reverse it. Of course, 
This will not be achieved in the short term, but at least it will ensure the continuity of their species. They can still change the course of their destiny. They can do it, but I'm not sure whether they will.